In what ways can variability in female anatomy influence the experience of orgasm? What are the most recommended sexual positions for people with hip or knee pain issues? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Variability in anatomy can affect sensitivity and individual preferences, meaning orgasmic experiences can vary considerably. For people with hip or knee pain issues, sexual positions that minimize pressure on these areas are preferable. The side spooning position, where both bodies are lying on their side, may be more comfortable as it reduces tension on the hips and knees. Additionally, positions where the affected person can control the depth and pace of penetration, such as woman on top, may be less painful and more manageable. Female orgasms in an hour. Worldwide, the record for female orgasms in an hour was set at 134 orgasms in a scientific study. In comparison, during the same period, men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms. This fact highlights the complexity and variability of sexual responses between genders. Feminist reinterpretations. Some feminist movements reinterpret the Kama Sutra from a feminist perspective, highlighting its potential to empower women and promote gender equality in the sexual realm. Fetishes and relationships. In a romantic relationship, sharing fetishes can strengthen emotional and sexual connection. However, it's important to communicate openly and respectfully about fantasies and boundaries. Financial security. Having financial stability and the ability to plan for the future can be attractive to some women. Food fetishes. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their intimate encounters, such as using chocolate, strawberries, or whipped cream during foreplay. Foot fetishism. Foot fetishism involves sexual attraction to feet, including their appearance, shape, and texture. Some people find excitement in worshiping, kissing, licking, or massaging another person's feet. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. Full contact positions. For many women, positions involving full body contact, such as spooning or the full body embrace, create a sense of intimacy and deeper emotional connection. Gender change fantasies. Some people have sexual fantasies about changing gender or experiencing sexuality from the perspective of the other gender. These fantasies can be a way to explore gender identity and sexual expression. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Glasses fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards the use of glasses, whether on themselves or their partner, finding glasses aesthetically appealing or associating glasses with intelligence and sexual attractiveness. Glove fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of gloves, whether latex, leather, or other material, which may be related to texture, shine, or association with certain roles or erotic activities. Gonorrhea is a bacterial infection that can affect the genitals, rectum, and throat. If left untreated, it can lead to serious complications such as pelvic inflammatory disease in women and epididymitis in men. Group sex fantasies. Group sex fantasies involve sexual encounters with multiple people at the same time, whether in threesomes, orgies, or gangbangs. These fantasies can be explored through imagination or consensually in real life. Guide to Self-Pleasure In addition to partner relationships, the Kama Sutra also offers advice and techniques for exploring self-pleasure and individual pleasure, which can help people improve their relationship with their own body and sexuality. Health and Well-Being Similar to women, male orgasms have health benefits. They can alleviate stress, improve mood, and strengthen the immune system. Health Professionals 
It is always advisable to speak with health professionals for specific information about sexual health and receive personalized guidance. Higher HIV prevalence. Although advancements have been made in HIV treatment, the disease remains a global concern. An estimated 38 million people are living with HIV worldwide. Historical stigma. Throughout history, female masturbation has often been stigmatized and considered shameful or inappropriate. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy practice. Holding positions. Other women may find pleasure in positions that involve some degree of holding or restraint, such as soft bondage, as long as it is practiced safely and consensually. Impact of menopause on sexuality. Menopause can cause physical and hormonal changes that affect libido and sexual function in women, although many find ways to maintain a satisfying sex life as they age. Impact on mental health. Individuals diagnosed with STDs may experience emotional stress, anxiety, depression, and feelings of shame or guilt, highlighting the importance of psychological support in managing these diseases. Impact on relationship. Anorgasmia can have a significant impact on the romantic relationship as it may lead to frustration, discomfort, and feelings of sexual dissatisfaction in both partners. Impact on reproductive health. Some untreated STDs can cause serious complications in reproductive health, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and ectopic pregnancies. Impact on self-esteem. Frequent pornography consumption can affect people's self-esteem by setting unrealistic standards of beauty and sexual performance, which can contribute to feelings of insecurity and body dissatisfaction. Impact on the relationship. Premature ejaculation can create tensions in the couple's relationship, especially if not addressed properly. Open communication and mutual understanding are crucial for overcoming this challenge. Importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important for all parties involved to clearly and consciously give their consent before engaging in any sexual activity. Importance of medical consultation. If a man experiences premature ejaculation persistently and it negatively affects his sexual life, it is important to seek medical and psychological help to address the issue and improve sexual quality of life. Importance of respect and equality. Mutual respect and gender equality are fundamental in any sexual relationship. All individuals have the right to safe, pleasurable, and consensual sexuality, free from coercion and violence. Importance of seeking professional help. If premature ejaculation is negatively affecting an individual's sexual quality of life, it is important to seek professional help from a doctor or sexual therapist as effective treatment options are available. Improved sexual function. By better understanding their own sexual responses through masturbation, women may experience an improvement in their sexual function and their ability to reach orgasm during sexual intercourse with their partners. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,